It's a new era for Penn State Athletics, and Blue White Illustrated is here to tell you all about it. I'm Thomas Frank Carr, Dave Eckert, reporter for Blue White Illustrated. We are here after the press conference introduction of new athletic director Pat Kraft. So major uh, takeaway, I think, from today is just the energy and kind of the uh, the, the charisma of Pat Kraft. What, what struck to you about what we saw today from Penn State's newest athletic director? Yeah, I mean, he said it, he said it himself. He's an emotional guy, right, T. Frank? You saw it. Um, he's tearing up a little bit. Uh, clearly uh, an emotional guy. But, you know, I mean, he, he commands the room, doesn't he? You know, he had, he was pounding on the table. He was, he was, he was getting excited. So I think Penn State fans have a passionate new athletic director um, who, who is going to give you that oomph. So um, that's really what I took out of it. There wasn't a whole lot concrete, I think, to really talk about. But uh, you, got, you got kind of a sense of, of who he's going to be as a guy, definitely. And that was one thing uh, on the BWI Daily Edition, senior uh, editor Nate Bauer talked about, is just that infectious attitude. Uh, another thing is that they're, they're, you wouldn't really have all the answers right now if you just got a job. Sure. But, um, you know, not a lot when it came to Beaver Stadium or some of the plans for the future. One thing he did t touch on, though, was name, image, and likeness. What did he say that stood out to you about the situation right now in college sports? Yeah, he said that there were some things going on that he doesn't agree with. Um, namely, I, I guess what he interprets to be, um, you know, schools reaching out to athletes off, who are on a roster and not in the transfer portal, and then offering those athletes NIL money to, to, to go into the transfer portal and end up at a different place. Um, so that's something he said that he doesn't agree with. He said he kind of anticipates a market correction um, within, I think he said, 24 months, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so clearly there's some stuff going on there that he doesn't agree with. Um, but he did say that he's going to, you know, make Penn State as strong as it can be, you know, in that department. Um, so, yeah, that was that was the one concrete detail that I think I took out of today. The other thing, too, the future of athletics in general is kind of up in the air with all of these new stresses with NIL and, uh, you know, just the expanding market of college athletics. But he seems fairly committed to 31 sports at Penn State and winning at all of those, which is you know, you can say those things. We'll see how all of that works right. out. But another thing that did come up was, and he seemed also very adamant about, was basketball. So what did he have to say about the Nittany Lions and their chances of success on the hard court uh, as we stand outside of Beaver Stadium? <laughs> yeah, he said, uh, the VJC is right there, T. Frank. You can't see it if yeah. you're watching, but, you know, um, he said he thinks they can win. Um, he had a lot of good things to say about Micah Shrewsbury. He kind of said, you know, joked with Sandy Barber, who was also here, that, she, she made his life easier by hiring Micah Shrewsbury. Um, so it feels like, you know, there's some positivity around, around the future of that program for sure. And I think Penn State legacy fans will be very interested to hear his full press conference over on our YouTube channel. Also, I know that this is kind of a thing. It's a touchy subject for a lot of fans, but it didn't seem afraid of saying the name Joe Paterno, which came up at one point when rec uh, recollecting his career as an Indiana linebacker. So all of that here on the Blue White Illustrated YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe so you get the full uh, breaking news information, all of that from Blue White Illustrated on YouTube, and you check out the full uh, press conference for Pat Kraft, the new athletic director. I'm your host, Thomas Frank Carr, here on the BWI YouTube channel. We'll be back with more breaking news.